This is a Minecraft tree. And this is a Minecraft house. So what if we combine the two, making a giant mega tree house? That sounds like a pretty fun idea to me. So let's do it. So first up on the agenda, we gotta figure out what kind of tree house we're actually gonna make. Because if you haven't noticed, Minecraft has a lot of different tree types. Birch? No. Cherry Blossom? Also no. Oh, oh my, what is this very rare tree type that I've never seen before? It, it looks so perfect and unique. I'm gonna go with this one. Oak Log. Let's go make an Oak tree house. You guys think I'm funny, right? But okay, this treehouse is gonna be absolutely massive, which means we're gonna need quite a bit of detail on the tree to make it actually look good. I don't think a giant oak pillar is gonna look very nice. So why don't we mix in some spruce wood, like some stripped spruce logs and maybe some spruce planks. But I think we're gonna need a little bit more than what we got right now. To the tree farm! <laughs> Okay, this is gonna be very simple. We're gonna hop over here, take a sapling out of the chest, put the sapling here, and fill this thing up with a bunch of bone meal, which I don't have right now. One second, please. Oh, wait, I have a bone farm literally right here. I haven't played in this world in a while, okay? My bad. All right, it's time to go get some wood. And while my tree farm blows your ears out, please subscribe and hit the bell. Can you mob stop getting in the way of progress? Just trying to build a tree house here. Not trying to lose the world. Thank you. But okay, I'm hoping that is enough wood for us. I'm probably gonna need more as we go, but for now, let's just start building because I'm excited for this. So the question is, where should a giant tree go? I ask that as I'm literally standing on a giant tree, which by the way is an app. Bless you. Which, by the way, is an insane tree, but today we're gonna even trump this one. Oh, it's gonna be so good. And I say we build it down here by the water where all these mobs are, which is definitely not annoying at all. You kids get off my lawn. Okay, it's your lawn, it's your lawn, it's your lawn. I'll be back to claim it in the morning. Good night, Minecraft. All right, rise and shine. So first off, we're gonna do a little bit of terraforming just so we have a little more space for the tree to fit. After all, it is gonna be a pretty massive sized build. Oh, no, 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 no stone exposed. I don't think trees grow on stone. If they did, that'd be really weird. But okay, it's time to build ourselves a giant tree trunk. So we're gonna have the trunk right around here. So why don't we start by placing down some roots for the tree right here and kind of bring them up this way and put some over here and over here and maybe one more back here. Uh, we might need a little more space than this. We're not being lazy today. And much better. A lot more space for our gigantic tree. Back to building. So let's start taking out our other kinds of wood and mixing it in a little bit as we go up and towards the middle. Then we can start rounding out the base of the trunk. Then I can fly back home and get a totem because I forgot we're in hardcore mode. And I personally do not want to lose the world. But okay, a little bit later and we definitely have something working here. I wouldn't call myself a tree expert, but I mean, if the shoe fits. We just got to get a little bit more wood and continue to build this thing up into the sky. And thanks to the power of editing magic, it's already done. But it was not as easy as you might think. What is going on over there? I just want to build a tree house. Ah! How did you even get up here? Oh. Yeah, it was a fun time. But regardless, the trunk is complete. But everybody knows that trees have leaves. So we gotta go make ourselves a canopy. I am probably gonna need some shulker boxes because we are gonna need a lot of leaves for that big boy. Shulker boxes, off we go. All right, perfect. Giant oak forest. I'm gonna take all these leaves and put them in my belly. Oh, yeah. oh I didn't clear these shulker boxes out. That is tragic. It's fine. I'm lazy and don't wanna go back home. So I'm just gonna throw them on the ground. Kids, don't litter. Oh, yeah. Leaf chopping montage. Wait, my hoe. It's all your fault. Uh, I wasn't paying attention. Now I really do have to go home. Uh. All right, Farzee needs some new tools. Do I have any hoes in here? I don't see any. Fine, I guess we'll just have to craft a new one. Bink, bonk, boop. No silk touch, though. I need silk touch. Oh, Mr. Library. Are there any silk touch books in here? Uh, silk touch. Yeah, we got a bunch of them. Okay, sweet. We are back. Back to work we go. I actually have no idea how many leaves I really need, so this may be total overkill, but 
Who knows? Life's about taking risks, ain't it? Like when I ate that taco I found at the gas station floor. Worth it. But after grabbing my leaves, I flew back to the tree and began placing down the canopy. So let me tell you guys a little story. Many years ago, in an old survival world of mine, I built a giant treehouse. And to make a long story short, the canopy was absolutely horrible for many, many years. Took me quite a while to learn my lessons. But probably the most important lesson I did learn was I can't just put a canopy on top of the tree. I need to make branches that go out, kind of like up and around like this. Only then can we start building our beautiful canopy. This is going to take a disgustingly long amount of time, so I'll be back shortly. Alright, it is about two days later, and look at that amazing canopy. Oh my gosh, this thing took forever, my hands hurt, my brain hurts, but it is done. Hallelujah. Which means now we can move on to our next part of the tree, which is the branches. I want this tree to be filled up with survival essentials, like a crafting room, a smelting room, and a chest room. So my plan is to make each branch its own little room, so we'll have like a crafting branch, a smelting branch, etc, etc. I just heard a zombie. Is there a zombie down here? Oh, hello. Oh, I didn't know there was a cave down here. How old is this? Oh, yeah. And it looks like there's been some endermen down here, too. A lot of endermen. Oh, my gosh. All right, we're getting carried away. Let's get back to work. So, the first branch we're gonna make is a bedroom branch. After all, sleep is the most important meal of the day, or something like that. And how about we put this bad boy right here in this little indentation in the tree? Break this open, and I I kind of want this first branch to look almost like a little house. So we'll throw some planks here, craft up some stairs, go like this, like that. No, why are you guys back? I just fought you like a day ago. I hate this. Why are you trying to stifle progress? I actually hate these guys so much. Where was I again? Oh yeah, bedroom branch. But okay, here's our little bedroom. It's cute. It's adorable. Go out the door. Little hanging branch thing here with a lot more creepers down below lurking. Still don't like that. But from far away, this thing looks... Oh, that's actually really sick. That's better than I thought it was gonna look. Though I might want to add a little bit of like a branch coming from underneath it just so it looks a little more like a tree. So maybe I can just go like this and yeah, something like that, you know? Oh yeah, that looks really cool. I like that. Now all we gotta do is fly inside of our new branch and not fall off and actually decorate the interior and make it a real bedroom. Bed, shelves, bookshelves. Now we just gotta grab some stuff for the minor details like paintings, an anvil, armor stands, and some candles. <laughs> I think this guy's been here for a long time and he just does not want to get down. You know what? I'm going to save you. Get, get down. You are not welcome up there, stupid villager. Okay, this place looks pretty sweet. There's a lot of color decorations. I think I did a pretty good job with this, but I can't help but feel that we need some kind of window, just like a view. Like, look at this view. This is already sick. So what if we take some of these and go out like this, then put some trap doors down, and we fill this baby up with a whole bunch of glass and a few small plants here because they look so cute. That right there is how you make a perfect treehouse bedroom. Oh, it's so perfect. I'm so good at Minecraft. I'm having so much fun right now. This is amazing. I believe that calls for a disco break. Ow. I hit my elbow. All right, all right, let's go to the next branch, which is going to be a smelting branch. Because after all, we're going to need a place to put all our furnaces and cook up all our raw ores and our food. Think of it like a kitchen, just a kitchen that's floating on the side of a tree. So we're going to go up like this way and kind of bring it out towards the water, throw some slabs down as a big foundation. And since it is supposed to be a tree branch, I kind of want to sprinkle in some leaves across this just to make it look a little little bushier. Ah! Oh, hello, zombies. Oh, yeah. It's so hard to get the bottom of the branch filled. Oh, 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 that didn't work. Ah, oh, I'm dying. Come on. Drive by in place. Oh, I give up. Huh. 
Not bad. It is a little bit circular, but I think for a little guy like myself, I did a pretty good job. But now if we fly up here, check this out. There is still a hollow center, so we can actually put our furnaces inside of here. Within the giant branch, which I think is pretty sick. So let's grab some of these and very simply start placing them down around the sides like this. That's not too cramped, right? Yeah. You know what? I don't hate that. Now we throw in some of these bad boys. Above that, put in some of these bad boys. And maybe throw in some extra barrels for some storage here on the sides. Oh, wait, almost forgot. We are also going to sprinkle in a little bit of moss here and there just to make it look a little more nature-y and branch-like. Yeah, look at that, guys. The smelting room looks sick. The branch is amazing. Now we can just chop right in here and connect it to this little room that's already here. Oh, that's the ceiling from the floor below. Look at that. Absolutely perfect. It all works out. Though it appears I've missed a spot. I had to do it. Oh, wait. Amazing idea. What if we... We made an elevator down here to get back up to the branches. Oh my gosh, it'd be so perfect. It literally is in the perfect spot. Yes, yes, yes. We're doing it. Let me out. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, not only do I have a smelting branch elevator, but I also took it upon myself to make a bedroom elevator too. And as you can see, they are both fully functional. Takes us right up here to the top where we have absolutely nothing yet, but we will put something in here very shortly. Like perhaps... A fully functional chest room with a tiny little escape hatch here to get back down to the bottom of the tree. Oh, that's not the bottom. One more. And there we go. Absolutely picture perfect. I also realized that the front of the tree needs a cool entrance so we can get inside. So I chopped a nice big hole, threw in some decorative wood, and had a beautiful entry point. I don't know how I feel about this orange wood. It's very bright and very jarring, but the entrance is sick. We got flowers, we got leaves, it looks amazing, and of course, the water elevators that we've already discussed from before. Boom. Oh, this place is coming out so sick. I am in love with this place and we have so many more ideas so let's get to that and not die and as we carry on i want to tell you guys that i actually released a version of my map on the mc marketplace for bedrock edition this map gives you access to my hardcore world along with tons of custom quests and a feathery companion to keep you company broderick so if you're interested in getting a copy of this map there's a link in the video's description okay back to work we go so let's think about our next move so so far, we've built these amazing individual rooms that look beautiful. And obviously, we're gonna build a ton more branches on this tree. But the one thing that I really like a lot is the interior of the trunk, kind of like this chest room that we built. I think it would be absolutely sick if we transform the inside of this trunk into a giant main room. So to enter this main room, we're gonna want to have a very special branch to kind of fly in here with our elytra and land inside. Perhaps right here. Oh, that was sick. All right, cool. So we'll take our spruce stairs and make some kind of stilts going out like this. Looks good. Looks good. Now we can start the branch at this level. And I think the coolest way to get inside of the trunk would be to make a treehouse on a tree house. Like, just imagine it. You fly into a house on a tree, which takes you inside of a tree in, in a house. And it's a ne never ending cycle of houses and trees. And it's gonna be sick. Just trust me on this one, okay? All right, what kind of blocks do I want for my house? Maybe, just maybe, we use different kinds of wood and keep the whole tree theme. So more orange wood, maybe some dark oak wood, and perhaps maybe some birch wood. That is actually a horrible idea. Birch is disgusting. I'm good. Let's roll with what we got. Let's do a base of acacia wood. Raise these walls up. Sprinkle in some oak details. Raise the roof up. And last but not least, cover the whole thing in a dark oak glaze. I don't know why I said glaze. It sounds like I'm making donuts, but you get the idea. Boom, boom, boom. 
and boom. Wait, wait, wait. Windows too. We need windows. And boom, boom. And a few details later, there is our house. An absolutely stunning entry point into the treehouse main room, which will go right in here. Let's get to it. No cheats, no hacks, no respawn, and no. I be building crazy things, that's what I show. I be flying with Elytra. I be mining all night. No matter what I want to build, it's gonna be all right. I be mining these diamonds like they're going out of style. I like building across the world for miles and miles. Introducing the main level of the treehouse. It's a beautiful staircase that will connect us to all the other branches filled up with nature, safety railways, and of course, some beautiful, what, what do you call these things? Plants, plants, plants. My brain stopped working for a minute, but you get the point. This place looks amazing. And now we can continue on with our amazing branch treehouse system. So I did exactly that, adding in three final branches for the treehouse. This guy here is going to be a nether branch. I really hope these are not going to start a fire. That would be bad. Up over here, we're going to have an enchanting branch. Perfect. And this last branch over here is simply a decoration. There's no room in here because... I'm lazy. But it is okay because the tree looks absolutely magnificent. Look at it. Branches, nature, flowers, practicality, everything. Except for one final detail. Nature. Allow me to explain. Real life trees are home to way more than just a bunch of leaves. There's birds, squirrels, tree sap. All of things that aren't in Minecraft. But the one thing that we can use is beehives. So very simply, my plan is to get a whole bunch of beehives and make one colossal giant mega beehive hanging off of the tree, which I think will look pretty darn sick. All right, bees, show me where your leader is. Or not leader, your home. I don't know what beehives actually are. Show me some hives. A few moments later. Where are your stupid homes? Are you guys homeless? Oh, it's right there. That was a good timing. Yoink. One beehive down. Oh, look at this beautiful flower forest. Oh, we got to build here one day. This is beautiful. Oh, I love flower forests. They're so pretty, but not as pretty as you. All right, that should be enough beehives for us. But I also think it'd be smart to mix in some other kind of yellow block just so we can like build a structure and not just stack a bunch of beehives on top of each other like that. That'd be kind of silly. No, no. Would be cool, but can't afford that. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, wait. Bamboo wood. I haven't used this stuff. Mosaic. What is that? What is that? What, what, what is that? I don't know what that is, but I want to use it. How do you make it? Bamboo? Do I have any of you? I, I don't think I have any of you. Oh, that's that's tragic. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, there's a couple. And I go like that. No. What about like that? Okay. There's something there. Now I take this and go like that? Or do I got to make a full circle? Or how, how do I... I'm confused. Oh, that's it. Bamboo planks. Okay, that's what I wanted. What the heck was a mosaic? Oh, that is the perfect block. It fits in very nicely with this thing. Kind of. We're just going to do it, okay? My brain kind of feels like mush after placing down 10 billion leaves today. Yeah. Let's go make ourselves a beehive. Why don't we place it under this branch and kind of have it like hanging down? So let's take our grass and pillar up like a very established, distinguished individual, aka lazy. And I actually thought it'd be pretty cool to take these mud wall things and kind of make that like the hangy bit. Then we can put the beehive like here, but this time actually use a beehive. Boom. Then we'll go wood, throw some stairs around here and kind of just make this like beehive sandwich kind of thing. I have high aspirations for this build. I think it's going to look pretty cool. And a little bit later, we have an explosion. Not what I had in mind. We have a giant floating beehive. I think it looks really good. Could it be a little bit bigger? Maybe, but the beehives took so long to get. I'm not going to do this anymore. Sorry, just being honest. I am sick of building today. And to top things off, I patched up some creeper holes, covered the ground in flowers and nature, and said hi to Broderick. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as promised, here is the most amazing Minecraft treehouse you have ever seen. Well, as far as I'm aware of, at least. But this place is sick. It has all the survival essentials. And most importantly, we have zombies in here. I don't know where you came from, but okay. <laughs> Make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff. And I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.